It took me a minute because I was, oh, look, I think I'm live now, or maybe it's still setting up. I'm getting there. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Sorry, I am one minute late. Um, I went live in the wrong place. I am live in the right place now, right? I'm gonna wait for some comments to come through. And in the meantime, I am going to tag a few people. LaShawn, hello, good morning, good morning. Hey, Jillian, happy, happy Wednesday. How is everyone today? How we doing, how we doing? Give me a moment here. I'm just gonna tag a few people so they can catch the replay for those who have to work. How we doing on this hump day? Who was here with, hey, Kayla, you're live. I'm so happy. Hey, Dodie. Happy hump day from Canada. I love it. Happy hump day from Thailand. Dodie, how is using the tools going for you? Are you loving it? How's it going? Tell me everything. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting through my list. Do we, is Misty here with us yet? Vibrating, good energy, awesome. Love to see it, love to see it or read it. Okay, cool. Hi, Jane, it's good to see you live as well. I don't think I've ever, well, I don't, I'm not sure if you were here yesterday, y'all. I am still getting through the 500 comments from yesterday. Okay, so for those of you who dropped me some words for some resources, don't worry. I have a, we have a, an entire spreadsheet going. I'm just gonna compile all of the things at the end of the workshop and send it to you all in one go uh, because that is just way more efficient for all of us, I think. Um, hey, Stace, I want to rock this. I need to figure out the download to my, okay, well, hi, Karen, good morning. Okay, Dodie, I'll message you after this. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna hop into it yet. So hello, everyone, welcome to day two. You want, okay, Jane watched yesterday on replay. Cool, cool. Hi, Juice Lane. Let's just give it a, a couple more minutes to let some people in. I am so happy to see all of you here. It's really amazing. Oh my God, yesterday was crazy. <laughs> I think that was our biggest workshop day ever. And I'm really grateful for that. Where, where is everyone tuning in from? I know we have a lot of Canadians in here. Where is everyone else tuning in from? LaShawn, I know you're in America. All right, all right. I think I'm good on my end. Cool. So just so everyone knows, we had some audio trouble yesterday with the tools I was showing you. However, I have a solution and I'm gonna show you four videos and four tools today. And I am stoked about it. I love showing you all the automation. Uh, I can't see your faces, but I just imagine what they look like whenever I show you our amazing automation tools. Hey, Misty's here, I see her. Yeah, and Kayla is tuning in from Peru. We have the US, we have the Netherlands, we have Thailand, we have Canada, we are from everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so awesome stuff. Who was here for day one? Let's see. I know Kayla watched the replay. I know Jane watched the replay. I know LaShawn has been busting her booty watching the replay, doing some research. I believe LaShawn is going to be joining our little client family soon. Um, Stace, you were here with me. Dodie, I know you were here with me. Karen, I know you were here with me. Awesome. Welcome back, everyone. And if it's your first time to tune in live, welcome to the live. Um, I do only have one confetti popper today. I did not plan ahead for this. Who makes three packs? I don't understand. Don't they know I have a workshop to do? <laughs> okay, so um, let me go ahead and share my screen and we will just go ahead and dive into day two. Okay, so 
Everyone can see my screen, yes. Confirmation, please. Smiles to joining the family. Yes, LaShawn, I cannot wait to coach you. I'm so happy. Dodie, I'm so happy you love day one. Hell yes. Okay, so everyone can see. Awesome stuff. Okay, so welcome back to Cashing In on Facebook. Okay. Um, just so you know, we are keeping track of who is going to, who, who is tuning in live or lets us know that they're watching the replays. Um, because I have a little something special for you. So it is highly encouraged to come here and engage and let us know that you're here. And that's why I say engage because we have a beautiful spreadsheet of who is here and who is with us. And we definitely um, reward the people who show up every day because that is how results happen. Um, okay, so <clears throat> two people won Genius Birthday posts yesterday, and I wonder who is going to win today. Who thinks it's going to be them? Hey, Michelle, so happy you're here live. Who thinks they're going to win the software today? <laughs> hey, Tess. Let's see, we don't know who is going to win, but I can't wait to see the winners. <clears throat> All right, so today we are gonna talk about nurturing our leads because I taught you yesterday how to get the leads, right? Today we're gonna talk about nurturing the leads and we're gonna talk about content. And more specifically, we will discuss, um, we'll have a bit of an automation recap. Like I said, I'm going to be talking about automation and what's going to happen in 2022. And then I'm also going to recap the tools that I was trying to show you yesterday, but we, we had a bit of an audio problem. Um, but yes, we are going to talk about the five rules of D, the three most efficient ways to nurture your leads, five rules of DMing, three DM styles, setting up your sales system, content that converts, content strategy, all kinds of great things. Your mind is going to be blown. So nurturing is so important and content is a big part of how we nurture our audience and our leads, right? Um, if, so yesterday we talked about getting the leads and if we're getting all of the leads, there's really no point if we're not doing anything with them, right? We need to have a plan. We need to have a plan to nurture them. So let's, who's ready? Who's, who's ready to talk about nurturing? I love this day. I love nurturing and I love content. If you were here with me now, you probably can tell from the DM, the DM exchange or the content I put out that I really love these two topics. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So again, uh, before we begin, some of you are new here. We will be talking about automation, okay? We, you will see some, some new tools and you will hear about some new strategies that you've never heard about before or that you've never seen before. So keep an open mind, ask questions, ask questions. We understand that these things are probably new for you. So don't feel like, uh, oh my God, I can't keep up or I don't know what's going on. Um, just ask questions. We have answers, I promise. So, yeah. Okay, so I want to cover this again, and I'm going to cover it again tomorrow. So there are a lot of misconceptions about automation, okay? Um, I'm just going to hide the comments just while I'm talking. Otherwise, I will get so distracted. <laughs> so there's a lot of misconceptions about automation. A lot of people think you have to be at this certain level of business to use it in scale mode rather than just starting mode. That's absolutely not true. Okay. Um, like I said, I have had, we have, we have clients who have been in business for years who use automation and we have clients who are literally just starting their business who use automation. It doesn't matter what stage of business that you're in, as long as you want to get leads on Facebook and you want to save time and you want to double your efforts. Okay. Um, it is difficult. It's not difficult. And I know my clients are in here right now. And I know that they will tell you the same thing. Is there a learning curve? Sure. There's a learning curve with everything, but you can do it. You learned how to start a business online, didn't you? It is expensive. No, it's not. It requires a team. No, it doesn't. It actually takes away the need for a team. Can you still have a team of of course you can. Can your VA use the tools? Of course he or she can. No problem. But you don't have to have a team to use automation. You'll never understand it. 
absolutely not true. I told this story yesterday. I am a tech granny. Misty knows. I think Stacy knows. My other clients in here know. And if I can master automation, I know anyone in the world can master it. Okay. Um, I'll show up like a robot. Uh, this is a fear that I hear from people again and again and again. And you're not going to show up like a robot. Have I ever shown up like a robot to you? No. I'm sure if we've had a conversation, you have felt that it was very warm and very genuine. And if I ever did send you an automated message, I told you, hey, straight up, that was an automated message with my software. No shame. I save time in my business. Um, Facebook will block me. No. So actually, the software prevents you from getting blocked on Facebook. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as long as you're not doing a bunch of crazy activity manually. Uh, so the software, and you'll see more in the, we have a lot of softwares being shown today, so I'll save that for later, but it actually helps prevent you getting blocked from Facebook because it goes very slowly, okay? You can set time intervals. All right, all right. So I talked a lot about how automation, uh, people's hesitation with automation yesterday, so I'm not gonna go too deeply in that today. If you haven't watched day one, Go back in and listen to it and this beginning part for sure, because I talk a lot about the hesitation and these misconceptions with automation, but also how automation is just going to kind of take over in 2022. I mean, we've seen this giant influx of online businesses happen over the past one to two years, and automation is just going to be something that more and more people are going to need to keep up and to save time and to not feel overwhelmed. So just put the hesitation away, <laughs> okay? And just trust us. We know what we're talking about. Like I said, I'm a tech granny and if I can figure it out, anyone can figure it out. But just to further push the hesitations away, I just wanna recap on some amazing wins, okay? So here's some amazing money stories. This is all true. Everyone here who knows me knows I do not bullshit, okay? Hence why it says no bullshit. <laughs> um, so me personally, I started using the software and within a week of using it, just one of my tools, the Genius Connector, which we, which I showed you yesterday and I'll show you again soon, I got a high ticket client. It was a 3K client and I got her within a week. And I all I did was run the Genius Connector and speak to her in the DMs. We got on a call and I was hired like within maybe 10 minutes. Okay. It was the easiest sale I've ever made ever. Okay. So that is amazing. Um, <clears throat> our clients have gotten one to three clients just after a week of using our tools. A week. What? What? One of our clients, Deanna, I was just speaking to her, recently celebrated four clients in less than 24 hours. She has taken our software. She was a total newbie. What was it? Maybe she started in September. So she was a total newbie at the end of September. And now she is getting four clients in less than 24 hours. Like I'm telling y'all, it's really amazing. Another DePriest who I was also just talking to and hello if you're here, celebrated four clients in just a few days. Deanna is a meditation teacher or a meditation coach. DePriest is a network marketer. So you can see the range of people that this can help. It's not just one specific job type, okay? Or business type. Um, so we've had a, a client, Stacy, who's here more than double her rates. And again, I don't even, I can't even keep up with how many, how much her clients have exploded since using it, but that's really cool. Uh, and then again, some time saving story. So it's not just all about the money. The money is important. Getting the clients is important, but we also want more time. We want more time. So this is a, a great story. I had dengue fever a few weeks ago and I could not work. Okay. I still sent out 87 friend requests, 87 automated DMs with those friend requests who were going out to people in my group. Okay. And 129 workshop invites over a five day period. Most people send out that kind of stuff over three, four weeks, if ever. Okay. So I was sick and in my bed, which is over here, why I'm pointing over here, uh, for, for days. And I just couldn't, you know, I just clicked a few buttons and automation did it for me. So uh, if I didn't have the automation and I got sick, which has happened many times before I was using it, I would be in full panic mode. Okay. And just like burning myself out, trying to work through it because we all know how it is to miss days whenever you're, whenever you are, 
you know, in launch mode or whenever you have a, a, something big coming up or just whenever you're trying to keep your business up and running, you know? So we are saving our clients five to 10 hours per week. We run our tools. This is so true. We run our tools while sleeping and wake up to workshop signups, warm leads, et cetera. I love running the tools while I sleep and just so much more. Um, okay, so what we love most about automation is that it keeps us consistent. This is a major problem with people. Like they have a few good days. It's just like with anything, like we eat healthy for a few good days. We work really well on our business for a few days. And it's like three steps, two steps forward, three steps back. Like we just can't seem to stay consistent. And the great thing about automation is you set it up, you do a teeny bit of setup work, and then you just run it every day. So you have to stay consistent because all you do is click a button, okay? Um, things done on autopilot, aka you can take more naps. Uh, leads coming in weekly. That's the best part. Well, there's a lot of best parts. Um, your confidence continues to grow because you're actually seeing results happen. How many of us can say that we just are like, you know what, I'm done. I'm throwing in the towel. Nothing is happening. This is the difference because you're actually building momentum week to week, even day to day, and you're actually seeing the needle moving. So your confidence grows and you feel like, oh my God, I do have a business that's growing. I am getting somewhere. I am having conversations. And that is massive because I know I speak to hundreds of women. I know that that is something that is lacking. Okay. And, and Missy and I have just seen confidence completely shift after using the tools and, and having those conversations, getting those initial clients or adding to your client load, et cetera, et cetera. Um, getting ahead of our competition. Hello. Amazing. Booking out our workshops, lives, launches, et cetera. Um, mastering a very valuable skill for 2022 and beyond. This stuff is awesome and it's here to stay. Okay. So why not learn it now and get ahead of your competition? So fantastic. I am going to hop over to the comments really quickly. Okay, cool. It looks like Misty has it all taken care of there. So let's move on. So I want to recap the videos that I was showing you yesterday. Okay. Give me just a moment and I am actually going to pull up a little recap video for y'all. Just a moment. <clears throat> so yesterday we talked about Genius Connector and we talked about Genius Birthday Posts. All right, but we had some audio issues and I want to, I'm gonna play it in my other window. I want to show you that video again, but it's a new video, new and improved. So hang with me and I am gonna start this video here. <clears throat> okay, so you should be able to see my screen and I am just going to message Misty and the DMs and I'm going to start this. Hey everyone, welcome to day two of cashing in on Facebook. So want I wanted to quickly make a little recap video of the two tools I was trying to show you yesterday but we had some audio problems and it's literally the perfect time my birthday cards just went out 13 minutes ago so I can actually show you the two birthday cards that I send out with four different messages right here on my friends timelines um, it's just perfect timing so um, as I showed you yesterday we Okay. Hold on. I'm just, I'm pausing real quick because I think the audio is still, all right. That's all good. I don't know why this isn't working. This worked so well last time. Okay. No problem. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, just give me a sec. Okay. I'm going to play the video without audio and then I'm going to explain it to you. Just a second. Okay, you can see my screen, yeah? You can see Will Ferrell with butterflies around his head. <laughs> Hi, Georgia. Okay, no problem, no problem. I don't know what is going on. This is like a little trick I did last time, but I guess 
it's not going to work this time. So anyways, yeah, I'm just going to play the video without any sound and then I'll just talk. Okay. <clears throat> so the video, the tools that I showed yesterday are genius birthday posts and genius connector tool. So the genius birthday post sends out personalized cards. Okay. And as you can see here, this is one of the cards that I, that automatically posted to someone's wall. So in addition to posting on their wall, it also sends an automated DM. So you just set it up one time and you pick a, you pick a time that you want it to be sent out every day and it sends for you automatically every day. And how fun is this tool? <clears throat> so let me go and show you. Okay, so now we're on Genius Connector Tool. And this tool is amazing because you can add people on autopilot in two ways. Okay. So right now we're in my, my, my group members list. You can add people from a post, which I'm actually going to show you later, or you can add people from a members list, which is awesome. <clears throat> Oh, awesome, Kayla. I'm glad you're here then because now you can see how it works. I'm going to just pop it down here in a moment. <clears throat> so we're in my group members list now. And as you can, I'll, you'll see in a moment, I use Genius Connector on my group every single day. So especially when I'm running a workshop like I am now, I get like 50 new people in my group like every few days. So I run Genius Connector and send them an automated DM every single time new people come in. So I am keeping my, my members very engaged and I'm nurturing the crap out of them. And that's how I keep my group so alive and so engaged with not only me, but with each other. So this is what Genius Connector looks like. Again, all of our tools act as Chrome extensions that sit right here and that sync up to your toolbar, right? You pin it to your toolbar, you see them right in front of your face every time you go to work. So you know what you're doing every time you sit down to work. That is what's missing for a lot of people, okay? So what I was saying, what I've been saying again and again is that these tools prevent you or they help prevent you from getting blocked on Facebook. And that is because we have these lookup intervals. The lookup interval can go anywhere from 30 seconds up to 15 minutes. It's amazing. And I'm talking about that right here. You can also set the number of requests. So for me, I've been adding people on Facebook for years. So I can add people, I can add up to about 40 to 50 people a day without getting flagged. And I set that about 10 minutes apart. But the great thing is, if you're new to adding friends on Facebook, you can set a low number like 10. Okay, and now I'm going into keywords, right? So keywords are really cool because let's just say you're a business coach and you work in the, you work with women who are in the wellness space. Okay, so you might want to type keywords like wellness coach or fitness coach or breath work or meditation. Okay, um, and then at the same time, you can use negative keywords. So if you, for me, for example, I sell software, Missy and I own a software company, we're automation coaches, we're business coaches. Maybe I want to rule out those people because I'm looking for people who, who aren't using automation right now, right? And don't let this um, like trick you or anything. You don't have to use the keywords and you don't have to use the negative keywords, but it is a very powerful function um, if it works for your business, okay? But this tool is powerful either way because you do get to set that time interval. You do get to specify how many requests to send out and you also get to choose an automated DM, a variety of them, not the same one over and over again, preventing you from getting blocked on Facebook, you can choose a message group to go out with each of your friend requests. So for example, when I add people from my group, they're getting a friend request from me and a very nice welcome message from me at the same time. So people often ask me like, how are you friends with almost everyone in your group? And that's because of this tool. People always ask me, how do you keep your group so engaged? How are they so tight knit? Because I have tools that 
instantly engage with them. And then the relationship just continues to build. Okay. I am doing everything I can to keep a relationship with my group members. And I know that's very hard for a lot of people, especially when we do have 50, anywhere from even five to 50 new people coming in per week. It's hard to keep up and Facebook will often block us. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just looking at the comments. I'm going to let this run. I'm still talking about keywords. Yeah, it's super awesome. Yeah, Tessa, it's generated a lot of interaction for Tessa. She's just completely ran with it. So as you can see here, this is what it looks like when it's running. See, it's it sets these numbers and it starts to scan. Let me go back a little bit. <laughs> So it will set the numbers and it will start to scan down the members list as you see here, okay? And the great thing is you don't have to stay in this window. You can see, I click over to Canva, you can do work, you can walk away and you come back to it and it's still running for you, okay? So that is how it works. It works completely on autopilot. Okay, so that was just a little recap of the Genius Birthday Post, which is so much fun, and the Genius Connector. Again, you can add people two ways, from a post and from a group member's list. Okay, so what do we think of those two tools? Who needs these tools, by the way? Who needs these tools in their business? Yeah, if you need these tools, please drop us tools in the comments drop us tools in the comments okay we want to see some tools <clears throat> okay so let's just move forward we're going to talk about nurturing now um i i have so many things to show you with my videos but we're just going to try to um, wing it today okay so on to nurturing. This is my favorite, favorite topic. If you know me, you know I love to be in the DMs with you. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of tools come through. Awesome, awesome. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, so why is nurturing important? Well, if we have a lot of leads, yay, that's great. We talked about getting a lot of leads yesterday. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, but if we have no content, if we have no nurture system in place, we're not building any relationships, then guess what? There's about a hundred other people that your ideal client can buy from, and they will. They will buy from your competitor who is nurturing them, who is following up with them. And what does that mean for you? It means no sales. And what does no sales mean? No business. Okay, we talked about this yesterday. So it's great if we have leads awesome you're getting new leads every week that's fan freaking fantastic but if you were doing nothing with them it is useless okay so <clears throat> all right so this is crazy did you know on average only three percent of people you first speak to or pitch an offer to um <clears throat> are ready to buy right then and there only 3%, okay? That means 97% of your audience needs to be nurtured or you are leaving 90%, 97% of your income on the table, okay? You have to nurture. We have to nurture, especially with all the competition out there right now. And this is why I say, another reason why I say um, that automation is so important, right? Because we do have so much competition to keep up with and automation keeps us consistent. It keeps us accountable, right? We're able to, it, automation allows us to, and what Missy and I teach our clients is how to build systems on Facebook with repeatable actions to do every single day. So you're checking off all the things that have to happen, okay? So <clears throat> like I said earlier in the slide before, if you don't nurture, you will lose to someone who will, okay? And more and more business owners are realizing the importance of this, okay? So you have to keep up. We all have to keep up. Um, but nurturing your, your leads isn't complicated. The good thing is we just show up as ourselves. It's just, it's just that though, we have to show up and we have to follow up with them. Um, <clears throat> all right, Genevieve, I love systems. Well, girlfriend, you are in the right place then. Yes. So now we're going to talk about three really effective 
effective ways to nurture leads, okay? These are effective no matter what. No matter what is going on in the online world, these strategies never fail, okay? Um, so let's, let me just, just take a moment to go ahead and get something ready. I think that Misty, I think it's time for us to give away a birthday wisher. Okay, it's time for confetti. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get so excited every time. <laughs> okay, who is it, who is it? Oh, I think it's Kayla. <laughs> All right, nice job, Kayla. Kayla and I have known each other for a hot minute now. Um, yay, Kayla! I'm so excited. I'm sure we were gonna get on the phone anyway, and so we'll get on the we'll get on the phone and get you set up with birthday wisher. And I got your back with the nurturing. You're about to learn some things here too. Yes, guys, that was my only confetti for the day, but I I think I have a plan for the next one. Um, okay, great. So again, three ways to nurture your leads the right freaking way. Okay, so first things. First is getting in the DMs, okay? We wanna get in the DMs and we want to build relationships, okay? Um, okay, I'm, I need to get in the DMs, but who do I need to get in the DMs with? Well, everything I taught you yesterday, you need to be in the DMs with them, okay? So new connections, new connections from friend requests, existing connections, as I taught yesterday, tap into your existing leads who are already on your friends list, okay? People who engage with your content. I see this one slip through the cracks all the time. I see someone get 30, 40, 50 comments on a post, but there's no responses from, from the person who posted it. They just let all those people slip through the cracks. I'm like, oh my God, hell. Always, always engage with the people who engage with your content, okay? Um, Bernice, DMs freak me out. I hear that all the time, but I promise, like everyone, Wendy, we have to stop being scared of getting in the DMs, okay? Um, because like DMs are a sure way to get to who we're trying to speak to. Content can be very hit or miss. Content is very competitive. DMs were like, we have this open window literally a DM window to show who we are and show our personality. Does that mean everyone is going to fall in love with us? No, of course not. Okay. But <clears throat> it is an opportunity for us to make a direct connection with people. Okay. Okay. But how we know with who I taught you yesterday, how to do that, but how do we, how do we get people in the DMS? Um, and that is by using automation, okay? Um, remember the Genius Birthday post that we just looked at and Genius Connector I taught you about? Those are the people we're getting in the DMs with, okay? Genius Birthday post is re-engaging with old leads. You have Genius Connector running to new leads. You're talking to them. You have this friends list that you're working with. People, you have so many leads to tap into. And this is something we really dived into with my group coaching because I illustrate to all of my clients like hey let's take a look at what's already there and let's let's make a plan to tap back into this to generate some from this we have birthday posts running generating leads and we're posting content we want more multiple sources of leads and we want all of those people in our dms okay so auto, you can see how automation helps a lot with this of course you can do all of this stuff manually so regardless of if you're on auto team automation or not, still stick around because all of this stuff can be done. It's just gonna take a lot longer, okay? I used to do this exact stuff without automation, but it took me a lot longer and I was getting blocked a lot more. <laughs> okay, um, yes, so I'm just gonna address something here. Some groups are anti-DM if you are trying to promote or sell. I do not recommend promoting or selling right away. And that I go, that is way too much for just one, one day workshop with everything I wanna cover today. But this is something I really teach my clients. And if my clients are here, please, um, please back me up on this one. Like we really, we really look at how we are approaching people. 
how we are doing that. Um, we never want to be spammy or pushy or right away shoving services down the throat. And we are going to be talking about that more here in a moment. Um, so just keep this in mind. This is what the DM sell, sales funnel, if you will, looks like. So the top is lead gen, getting them into the DMs. This is what we went over yesterday, okay? How we do that is running Genius Connector with friend requests, with automated DMs, posting lead magnets and other groups, et cetera, et cetera. That's the top. Lead gen is here, okay? We're getting them into DMs. Then they funnel down to the middle. And that's what we're gonna be discussing today. This is where we nurture them, okay? And, and what tools do we have for that? Genius Messenger CRM, okay? We have labels, we have tags, we have canned responses, and I'll show you that here in, the mo here in a moment. And tomorrow we'll be covering the bottom of the DM sales funnel and beyond the DMs, okay? Uh, and again, what tools can we use for that? Genius Messenger CRM, canned responses, okay? So just to kind of illustrate what we're going over, we're focusing on this middle part here today, okay? So this is something that um, just, it just kind of helps me visualize in my mind, like, okay, what's happening? What am I taking them through, okay? <laughs> okay, so the five rule framework for DMs, people often tell me, I'm seeing comments here now, um, I'm scared of the DMs. I, I don't wanna be pushy, I don't wanna be salesy. But first of all, if we don't talk about our business, how is anyone ever going to know about it? And guess what? Everyone is on Facebook doing business. So if you don't get in the DMs, like I said earlier, there's a hundred other business owners who will. There's nothing wrong with getting in the DMs as long as you do it in a, in a, a genuine way. Okay. There are ways to DM and there are ways to not DM. Okay. So obviously the first thing, be a genuine human. Okay. Be a genuine human. Don't overthink or over edit. This one is so important to me because this is all I did for like the first probably six months of my business. I second guessed everything I said, everything I did. It was completely unnatural. I often tell people like, what it like, just treat it as if they're sitting, they're sitting in, in across from you and you're having a latte together. Okay. The way I was talking to people in the beginning of my business was not like that. It was no, no latte talk at all. So just be casual. Don't overthink, don't over edit because it comes off rigid and unnatural. Okay. Don't shove services down their throat right away. Do not do it. Um, and then again, don't stay silent about your services. Don't do that either because how will they ever know your services exist? Um, always bridge the gap before offering services. And some people do not do this. And we'll take a look at some of this in a moment. But I do recommend that to my clients. Always make sure there's a, a problem that you can solve before you offer to get on the phone or before you offer um, to like offer them some package or something. Like get to know them a bit before any of that. So this is just a, like a five rule framework that just kind of, it's good to keep in your mind and just kind of chill out. Like just chill out when you're in the DMs, okay? Just act like a, a normal, uh, I know I'm not normal, but act like a human being and treat the person on the other end like they're just a human being, okay? I know it's, it's a little bit intimidating at first, I get it, but I promise you the more you do it, the more it's going to become natural. And Tessa, Tessa is one of my clients who hated DMs about, oh my God, Tess, what would you say? Three weeks ago, you, you still were like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And then literally she DM'd 80 people and 40 of them signed up for her workshop. Okay. If Tess can do it, you can do it too. So, <laughs> okay, great. So we're going to talk about the three DM styles because I'm seeing some things going on in the comments right now. So this is kind of perfect timing. So we're, there's a lot, there's a, there's three different DM styles that are pretty prominent in the space. Okay. And I'm going to explain them and I'm going to explain the benefits of them and the cons of them, the pros and cons. And I have used them all. Okay. So I can speak from personal experience. So <clears throat> <laughs> All right, I love the comments going on right now. So <clears throat> three DM styles. The first one we're going to talk about is cold, baby cold. <laughs> okay, so this one results in higher volume, but lower quality leads. Okay, so cold is, um, as you can see here, it's just instantly um, asked, like just getting straight to the point. 
Okay. Um, what, what does this one say? Happy to connect with you. I saw you on a digital marketing agency. That's awesome. I don't own a digital market, marketing agency, by the way. Um, would you like to be part of our Facebook group where we share tips for scaling businesses and help business owners? Blah, 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 blah. I can send you the link if you're interested. This one was not horrible for me, other than the fact that they got my job wrong. Okay. It's probably an automated message. Cool. I don't care. I sell software too. Um, but this one, I was like, okay, because they asked permission at the end, or they at least said, I can send you the link if you're interested. They gave me the option, which I, I find is always more approachable than just sending a link right away. Um, I never send a link right away if I've never had a conversation with the person. If it's someone in my group or something, it, that's I don't consider that a cold DM because they're in my group. I've nurtured them, et cetera. But this would be considered cold because I've never had a conversation with this person before. Okay, let's look at the other one. Hey, Taylor, thanks for accepting my friend request, blah, blah, blah. I promise I don't invite everyone to this. Yeah, right. Um, it's totally fine if it's not for you, but I have a free group called blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so we're hosting a virtual retreat. Let me know if you'd like me to invite you. As I said, please just ignore this if it is not for you. I thought this was okay. Like this is a great example if you just want to grow something quickly, but you're cool with it not being very high quality leads. Okay, because she's just saying like, I'm going to invite you in. If you want to come, I'm going to invite you in. But she's not giving me, she's not taking any time to figure out if I'm her ideal client. So these are like not, these are, these, these are non-cringeworthy examples, but this is cold because they're getting straight to the point right away. So like I said, um, the pros are quick group growth or more signups to something, more calls booked. It actually does lead to more calls booked, but the cons are it's usually a lot of shitty leads. It just is because you're not taking any time to get to know them. Okay. So um, anyone here practicing the cold method at all, there's no shame in it. Like I, I actually used the cold method whenever I was first growing my group, believe it or not. I was taught this. I am so not a cold DMer now, um, but I mean, it worked. I grew my, I grew my group quickly and I was lucky in that I, um, I chose a lot of good people from the get go. Um, but yeah, so that is cold. Let us know below if you do any cold DMing. Okay. So next is the warm way. Okay. The warm way. I like the warm way. I typically like hot and warm. Okay. So this is four to five messages sent before talking about business. Okay. You have a little bit of back and forth, but we're not going in a little bit of pre-qualifying, a little bit of relationship building. We're not going full into qualifying them out. Okay. Um, this results in average number of responses, better quality leads than cold DMs, obviously. As we get warmer and warmer, whenever we're talking about these styles of DMing, obviously the leads get better, the more time you spend in the DMs with them, okay? So pros, <clears throat> decent speed of group growth, calls are booked, but less. Actual connections are being formed, but still not amazing quality of leads. Okay. So you can plan on doing, if you're inviting them to a group, you can plan on doing further nurturing and, um, you know, reaching out to them in your group. Um, cons, obviously it's a slower process because you are taking, a, um, taking more time in the DMs. So then sometimes those conversations can quickly die off, but Hey, if they die off, maybe do a, another follow-up or two, then leave it alone. Okay. Um, who here is doing the warm way or does everyone do a mix? A mix of things. So the warm way is probably the one that I use. I don't know. I use warm and hot probably pretty equally. So the hot, hot, hot way is the third way we are going to talk about. So this is many, miss, many messages sent before talking business. And I'll show you something that I like to use here in a moment when we hop over to the CRM. Um, but many messages sent before talking business, okay? Qualifying done at length in the DMs results in much lower volume, way less calls booked, a lot of, a lot of conversations trailing off and dying down, but the quality of leads are higher. Um, obviously this process takes much longer because you're spending more time, but, um, the, after these people join your group or after these people come to your workshop, the, the chances of them converting or converting at some point are much, much higher. The leads are much higher, uh, higher quality of leads. Okay. Um, 
dun, dun, dun. mix, but the warm really takes such a long time and doesn't lead to much. Yeah. So honestly, I'd say, I'd say try them, try them all. If you're trying to get, if, if you're looking for volume, try out some cold babies. If you have the time to do a bit of nurturing, the warm way is less time. Um, give it a, give it a try. But I like to use the hot way. If I really, really feel like someone's going to be a good lead, like we're vibing from the beginning, but then it's kind of easy to do the hot way. Cause you're already getting along and the vibe is there, but give, give each of them a shot for sure. For sure. Um, okay. So we are having all of these conversations. We got all of these leads, but how the F do we keep track? Okay. I hear this again and again. My messenger drives me bananas. And I know I can't imagine going back to a normal, like Facebook messenger inbox. So we use this. This is what we use. And I, since I cannot show you the video because it's being annoying, um, I'm going to try to load this stuff on my Facebook for now. Just hang tight, everyone. My Facebook, uh, my computer wants to go really slow when we have all of these people on a live. So give me just a moment. Sometimes things don't go right in your workshop and you have to improvise, but don't panic. So we stay chill. We let the computer go very slowly because we have 30 people on one live and I'm sharing my screen right now. Okay. Here we go. So I am going to pull this over here. So I touched on this a little bit yesterday. Okay. Not a whole lot. But, and I'm going to, I'm going to talk much more about this tomorrow. Okay. Cause we're going to go into sales and I'm actually going to show you how to use the tool I'm about to talk about and to set up a sales system. But as you can see, my messenger inbox looks a lot different than yours, unless you're my client. So this that's because we have a tool, my personal favorite called the genius messenger CRM. And it is absolutely fantastic. So as you can see, you can turn your Facebook Messenger into a color-coded CRM. You can, choose, you can create all the labels you want. You can create all of the tags that you want to, to further specify. <clears throat> and you can do, there's so much that it can do, but I mostly just want to show you how you can organize things right now. Because I know like we're generating all of these leads and things are so crazy in our Messenger like you just want to avoid it. You don't even want to look at your messenger inbox, but this makes it so easy because you can color code things. You can actually search your inbox for labels. You can search um, your inbox by tags, by people unlabeled, by messages sent by you or sent not by you. So there's so many search functions to really, really find and target people that you want to follow up with. So maybe you have a follow up label just like this one. And so part of your daily workflow, which we covered yesterday is to check in with your follow up labels, you know, three times a week or something. So you can actually search your inbox for the follow up labels and just make sure you're hitting every single one of those high priority leads. Okay. How amazing is that? And please tell me, are you doing that right now? because many people I speak to have no idea that this exists and they're not doing anything even close to this. Okay, so in addition to that, you can take notes on all of your leads. So you can stay ahead of the competition by adding notes. You can also track how long you've been in contact with someone like, geez, we've been talking for six months and this person hasn't converted. So like, I like to go, hey, what's going on here? It's been six months that you've been following me now. We've been having a conversation. Am I missing something? Is it me? You know, um, so you can really keep track of things. This is a full blown CRM. And this is only a fraction of what this tool can do. Um, so in addition, as I was saying, we're in the middle funnel right now, right? We have the top, we're generating leads. We're in the middle funnel, we're nurturing those leads. So I love to have frameworks typed out here 
Okay, so let's see here, pre-qualifying questions. I like to warm people up with these questions here. And this helps me with that warm way or those hot ways of DMing people. I just have questions here built out that help me realize if they're serious about their business, where they're at in business. And it just helps me guide the conversation because yeah, some days we're tired. Some days our brains are just all over the place or the person on the other end is getting off track or we're getting off track. This is just great to build out frameworks of where you want your conversation to go. Response is positive, response is negative. Um, I have one for goals, really like identifying their goals. So you can build out as much as you want here. Um, group member check, challenge invite, all kinds of things. Whatever you want, you build out your own customized sales system and nurturing system. This is not just our sales system, but also our nurturing system, um, which I guess is one and the same. Um, right here. And then you can also set up notifications, which is really cool. So if someone tells you to follow up in two weeks because they're going on a trip for their daughter's birthday, you bet your ass you need to be taking a note on that. Follow up in two weeks and make sure you ask how the daughter's birthday went and then give it a follow up label. Okay, that's important. And then change their, their label to follow up. It's all done for you right in your messenger inbox. So you don't have to transfer things over to Trello or wherever it is that, or a spreadsheet. Um, I hear so many coaches still talking about spreadsheets. No offense if that's your thing. I love spreadsheets, but I prefer, I do business on Facebook. So I prefer to keep all of my tracking done in Facebook. Okay, so tell me, how do you feel about the CRM? Please drop tools again, if you want to know more about the CRM, drop us tools below. I love the CRM. I think I've mentioned that about 18 times since we've been on. I'm just gonna go to the comments quickly and see how we're doing here. Tools, this looks amazing. I'm very new to all of this information and options. Don't worry, ladies, we got you covered. We know a thing or two. <laughs> so yes, our tools are awesome. Um, so everyone who's dropped tools, uh, I will be reaching out. Misty or myself will be reaching out. Um, Y'all, I'm telling you, we have had people just because of the CRM, because they forgot about people slipping through our cracks, get two new clients or one new client because they're going through labeling people and they're like, oh my God, I forgot that person was interested. It's like immediate clients because they're like, oh shit, I was supposed to follow up and I didn't have a follow-up label. How amazing is that? It's just like, I'm telling you, like, like we're so passionate about these tools because we've literally seen people's businesses change in like a week, sometimes a couple of days, sometimes sure, a couple of months, but it's so much faster than we saw results before we were using the tool. So we're so passionate about spreading the word about this. So again, drop tools if you are interested in learning more, okay? So y'all, I teach you about these DM things and, uh, and, I, and I talk about getting in the DMs with people and doing it in a genuine and human way because these are the types of responses we want, okay? Um, can I just say you've impressed me, you've been classy in the way you've connected. So many people request to link up and then immediately start pushing their services down my throat. Okay. Hey, Taylor, thank you for introducing yourself in such a thoughtful way, blah, 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 blah. Um, that is not to say I get these types of responses all the time. We're always going to have people who are throwing some shade. I think that's a, I think that's a phrase. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's what people say, but like, we're always going to have some haters. Okay. And that's okay. We have haters online. We have haters in real life. It's just life. It's called the human experience. Don't let it knock you down. Okay. Um, what would you tell a friend if a friend was getting uh, a mean DM online? Tell them to brush it off. Like screw that person. They're lost. Say that to yourself too. Okay. So many people are afraid of the DMs and just honestly brush it off. Let the haters hate. Doesn't matter. You're awesome. And that's, that's what counts. Okay. Um, let's see here. Anything? It's a phrase. Thanks, LaShawn. <laughs> I'm always about like five years behind on the phrases. So that's just my thing, I guess. All right. So now we are going to talk about content. And I did not make this slide beautiful because this slide is so important to me. I'm literally going to read from the slide. Okay. Content is key. All right, the biggest mistake I see business owners make is to wait 
for the leads to just magically appear ready to work with them. Y'all, I get it. Manifestation is cool and it's important to visualize and manifest. There is a vision board on my screen, but we also have to take action. Okay. Or they post once or twice a week on their pages or other groups and are curious as to why they have no sales, often leading to them giving the hell up all too quickly. This is not the way it works. We have to first generate leads. Then we have to nurture those leads in order for us to convert those leads and change lives. Okay. Newsflash, everyone. All of us who have an online business are officially in the space of content creation. I heard that a few months ago and I was like, oh my God, we are all content creators. You know, that used to be like a very specific job title. Like yeah, I'm a content, I'm an online content creator like three or four years ago. And now we're all content creators. We are. So learn to love it, embrace it. It doesn't mean you have to be the greatest writer in the world, by all means, I know I'm not. It doesn't mean everything has to be perfect and beautiful and this and this. It just has to come from you and you just have to be consistent. And of course there is strategy to follow, but um, it's really all starts with you and just being consistent, okay? So you mean that I have to create content to generate leads? <gasps> that would be a yes. That would be a yes, but it doesn't have to look like this. Create content, they said. It will be fun, they said. I feel like so many of us in this workshop have at least at some point been where this guy is. Maybe not because of content, but for some reason. Who's been where this guy is at any point? <laughs> It also doesn't have to be like this. I don't know what I'm writing about. Okay. It doesn't have to be like this. Um, this is my favorite thing to go over with my clients and my clients, if they're here, they know how lit up I get about whenever we're, we go through the weeks of my group coaching, where we dive into content. I love it. It's my favorite part. And I know it's not other people's favorite parts. And so I think the reason why I love it so much is because it's our time to shine and just show who we are. Um, but also I love helping people realize that content is not so scary and DMs are not so scary. It's really not. And their faces just light up like, what a freaking relief. I, I can do this. I am cut out for this. So <clears throat> I want to go over just a few of my top tips for content. Content is um, something that we cannot cover in this, you know, 10 minute window or however long we're in this workshop. Um, it's just not possible. So if you are serious about improving your content, because we are all content creators now, please do reach out to me about the six week group coaching program. Because like I said, this is something we really dive into and that I'm very passionate about. Okay. Is showing you how to get that sense of relief. Uh, I can do it. I can create content. It's not this big, scary monster that I thought it was. Okay. So <clears throat> creating content that converts. All right. So if we have poor content, it is going to lead to poor attraction and nurturing, which leads to poor sales. Okay. Again, your content doesn't have to be magnificent and mind blowing and perfect all the time, but it needs to speak to your audience and it needs to be consistent. So I'm going to go over three steps to creating content that converts. All right. <clears throat> Step one, market research. Another thing that I am so effing passionate about. I know my clients are going, oh my God, she made me do all of this market research. Hell yes, I did. And that is because it is so important. Like look at how your business has changed after you did that market research. So market research is step one, what words does your ideal client use for pain points and goals? Not your words. What are they saying their problems are? Okay, maybe you call it this, but you keep hearing from them this other term for it. Use that term, okay? How are they talking? How are they speaking in the DMs with you? Um, really pick up on that. If you haven't done market research, you absolutely need to be doing that starting yesterday, okay? Market research is a forever thing. So if you're in here right now and you're like, oh, I've been in business for a few years and that was my client pretty well, you probably do, but market research is still a forever thing. My, my ideal client's pain point 
at the beginning of me, me starting my business has shifted and the things that they're interested in, the things that they're talking about and the places that they're hanging out is completely different than whenever I first started. Hello, Facebook groups, you know? So just pay attention to what your people are saying, right? Um, how can you conduct market research? Many, many ways, all right? Surveys, membership questions in your group, DMs, um, connect calls, market research posts, those are great. Engagement posts, so much more, okay? And then another thing that you can do is find what other people are posting about. What are other people posting to attract your ideal client? I guarantee you there are so many people on the internet who have the same ideal client as you. What are they doing? Check it out, okay? Um, let me pull up another tool. I think I can mute this one and just explain it to you. <clears throat> just one moment. Actually, while y'all are waiting, could you please tell me below who has done market research? Who feels like they need to do more market research? Bye, Jenna. All right, all right, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you this video and if it doesn't work, I'll pop it into the group later. But so as I was just saying, what are other people posting to attract your ICA? Hmm. We have a tool that actually scans other groups that you're a member of or even your own group for the top performing content, the most engaged content. So you never have to run out of content ideas again. So let's see if this will work. Maybe we could try this on the subject of creating content that converts that your potential clients actually want to see, hear, read from you. I want to show you a really cool automation tool that you have not seen yet <laughs> called Group Ripper. And what Group Ripper does is actually scans the top performing posts in your group or in other groups. So Did y'all hear that? It scans the top performing posts and influencers, by the way, in your group and in other people's groups. I don't know how the sound is working, um, but I'm just gonna kind of repeat myself. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> Remember how I told you to bookmark those five to 10 groups where your ideal clients are hanging out? Remember, five to 10 groups. I told you to go bookmark last night or yesterday morning for you. Go scan those groups with our group ripper tool and find the top performing content. Right, there's a, there's a method to my madness. You're gonna navigate to those groups and you're going, you can actually scan what posts are doing the best, right? You would never be able to do that manually. It would take you way too much time, right? So let me show you group ripper in action. Okay, I'm going to turn the sound off because I understand that's not working. Um, so this is what you do. It's just, again, a Chrome extension that's hanging out on our toolbar, and you can actually set the number of posts to scan. So I love doing this in my own group because then I can go, huh, my engagement's been a little bit low lately. What do people want to see, right? And I can see like, oh, you know, I posted this video on um, viral posts or something. Maybe I should do something like that again because I got a lot of engagement. So check it out. So you set the number of posts to scan, and then you just hit scan posts, and it's gonna run, it's gonna run, it'll take a few seconds, maybe 20 seconds. <laughs> and then it will say all completed, and you just click show data, and then it shows you there. So it rates them there, and in addition to showing you the top um, posts, it also shows you who engaged with those top posts as well. So depending on what kind of business you have, um, finding out the biggest influencers on these posts as well is pretty cool, right? Um, so this is called Group Ripper. So yeah, all the guesswork, um, what, to, what kind of content to create um, is completely taken away. And this is really cool for, it's great for any business owner, but I work with a lot of new business owners uh, <clears throat> who are nervous and don't exactly have all of the content ideas coming to their brain. So just getting in the habit of creating content and putting it out there is 
is already um, so massive for you to develop the habit. So having, not being stuck on content ideas, but running group ripper and finding the inspiration that you need to find so you can fill out your content calendar and go through the act and the, and the steps of posting daily, engaging, writing stuff, you're naturally going to start coming up with your own content ideas. But again, this is a great way to see what other people are posting to attract your ideal client. So really cool stuff. Um, yeah, and you can see the entire post just by clicking on it. So it, it'll show you, you know, top 50 posts and you can click on the first post and then read it and then see the, the see the comments and see all of the engagement and stuff like that. So it's really cool. All right, so that is market research and that is group ripper. So step two to creating or yeah, creating content that converts and actually getting people to engage with it is posting consistently. You gotta show the hell up, okay? I see so many people go, or I hear so many people tell me, oh, well, I, post, I posted a couple of times about my offer and no one signed up. You can't just show up and sell something and post to post about it and then disappear for a week or two weeks or three weeks. That's not the way the internet works. It's just and those days are over if they ever existed. Okay. We have to be consistent. We have to build momentum. We have to get name recognition. Okay. It's just the way that it works. You, you should be showing up four to five times in your ICA groups. And you might be going, what? Well, I go deep into this with my clients. Um, and I know that number maybe sounds scary. It's not. You can just take the same content you are posting on your own pages and groups uh, and repurpose some things. It can just be short little posts, whatever you want. Repurpose the content you already have created. It's not um, like writing new uh, five new pieces of content for five different groups, okay? So showing up four to five times a week in your ideal client group, so you're getting some name recognition, and five to six times on your own pages and platforms. Again, that's not going live six times a week. It's just posting a variety of content, a healthy mix of content types, okay? Um, who here has a content calendar? Anyone? I know if you're my client, you do, but who here does not or does? Who has a content calendar? So this is what we use to write out our content. So we have content ideas going here. Lots and lots going on here. And then we have all of the different months here. We're in December. So I have it color coded, what needs to go out. This is, I brain dump. I use, I use my brain dump here. I use my notes tab. I use voice notes. And then I condense it down here and I just type what is going on. I right click. I give myself some notes about the content and I have a nice little flow here. And my clients from the group coaching who really embrace this content calendar, which is quite simple, uh, I, it changed everything. I just saw crazy things happening, crazy good things happening with their content strategy. It was beautiful. It's, I mean, I, oh my goodness, I had a client who was so scared of content come into the group coaching and I trained her on the calendar. We worked very closely together. I edited or I audited her content week by week. And now she doesn't even need me to look at anything. And every time I get on Facebook, hers is the first post on my newsfeed because she's posting so consistently and they're so engaging that it's the first thing that comes up on my feed every time. And I'm so proud of her because that was like the main reason she came to me was because she had no clue what to do with content. She had all of these ideas, but didn't know how to put them down, didn't know how to plan it out. And it was a beautiful transformation to see. So if you do not have a calendar or something that you're using, please drop calendar below calendar. Okay. All right, so let's have a look at some post examples. Again, I'm not going to go too deep into this uh, for the sake of time. But if you, like I said, if you want to improve your content, reach out about the group coaching. If you really want to make a difference in 2022, we are going to look at some post types right now. So of course we have engagement posts. All right. Guess what? Engagement posts don't all have to be about business. All right. The point is we're encouraging people to engage. Okay. So you can see three different kinds here. We have, where are my business owners? Who do you help? 
Got a ton of com uh, comments. It's Saturday, let's have some fun. Gift below describing this week, something fun, okay? What book has really impacted your life? Ready for some new material. This one was massive too, 158 comments. All right, and so these posts are so great for posting in your group, posting in other groups. So you can start those conversations with people. And when you're posting these in your own group, you're also spiking your algorithm, okay? So did you know Genius Connector, the tool I've shown you twice now, is great for these posts because you can run Genius Connector on posts specifically. And I'm gonna show you a video, I'll turn off the volume, but just so you can visualize what that looks like, okay? Give me just a sec. Ah. Okay, so while we're on the subject of amazing engagement posts. All right, so I have an engagement post here pulled up as you can see, and there's 105 comments. There's no way that I can just friend request all of those people. If I were to post this in an outside group, I cannot just go add, 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 add. But what I can do is I can run Genius Connector on this post. And I can set a time interval so that it adds people. Oh, let me pause it here. So what we do is click the three dots and we click Genius Connector. And then we, it looks the exact, pr pretty much the exact same as what I showed you before. You set your time interval, you set up if you wanted to add people based on reactions. So like a thumb, a heart, a hug, or comments or both. You can also specify if you want to have mutual friends with that person. So another level of qualifying, right? Uh, and it's also, it'll also raise your chances of them accepting it if, if they see that you have uh, mutual friends with them, right? So um, it looks pretty similar to what I showed you earlier, but yes. So if we get hundreds of comments on something, then we can run Genius Connector on it and send them an automated DM. Like, hey, thanks so much for engaging with my post. Uh, what really resonated with you about it? Or tell me more about yourself. Tell me more about your business. I'd love to get to know you more. Great to have you in my network whatever it's all like that is 105 comments that i probably would make it about 10 percent through if i didn't use this tool so really amazing let me just see what we have going on in the comments i'm so excited i need all of this so bad i'll be reaching out to you genevieve no worries um, okay, so yes, that is Genius Connector on the engagement post. So you saw how it runs from a group members list. Now you've seen it running from a post, okay? It's very efficient, very efficient. All right, so another type of post or content type is a hand raiser. We see these all the time. Um, <clears throat> So here's a couple of examples. Free workshop on automated lead gen content conversion to get your next or first clients ASAP. Who's in? This one was from me. I wrote this and it did really, really well. And hand raisers are great in bigger groups because they, if they're written correctly, again, which is something I teach my clients in the six week program, um, if they're written correctly, they can do really, really well. Okay. But because they're often posted in these massive groups, also, again, it can generate a lot of low quality leads. So you might get 500 comments and you might have about 50 people out of that who are actually qualified and good. So they do take a little bit of time. However, we also have a tool that runs on hand raiser posts. And I'm not gonna dive into this one today because it's just we just don't have time, but we do have a, a tool called Genius Posts. And it's specifically for these hand raiser posts. And it will auto comment based on specific words that you set. So if you say, um, drop me a yes, if you're in, all of the people who say yes, let's say a hundred people say yes, you run Genius Posts, with a time interval and it will auto comment back to those people who, who said your keyword. And then it will auto, it will also auto DM them. You can DM them the lead magnet. You can just start the conversation with them, whatever the case is. So we pretty much have a software for everything. <laughs> okay. So step three of 
nurturing your audience, putting content out there, et cetera, um, is offer free value, okay? Give more than you take. Um, how can you do this? Remember your groups to check daily. I taught this in day one. I've taught it many times before. Get your ICA groups down, bookmark them, have about five to 10 groups that you can go hang out in, go comment on posts, use the search bar function in the top right corner and find posts to engage on that your ideal clients are hanging out on, okay? Show up to answer questions, offer free value, things like that, okay? Um, just go out there and engage and give some value. Like, it's amazing what happens whenever you're doing this and, and people really notice whenever you're just out there helping, it really does help. Um, <clears throat> pepper the groups that you are selling in, that you're posting those hand raisers and that you really, really like and wanna get some clients from, pepper those groups with some value so you can get some name recognition when you begin to sell. Stacy, if you're still here, Tell people about your experience, about how you're posting in these other groups. And people are like, I keep seeing your name. Like you really post some valuable stuff. That's a great feeling. And that's very hard to achieve in this competitive space. So that's why I teach the things that I do in this kind of minimalist way, like have your, have your groups, hang out in those groups, get some name recognition, build some trust, do the same thing in your DMs. There's a, there's a method to all of my minimalist magic, if you will. <laughs> um, okay, so how are we feeling so far, everyone? Does this all make sense? Are we all following? How do we feel? We do not have too much time left. Yes, Deborah, our tools are like a VA inside of your computer. And if you have a VA, guess what? Your VA can use the tools <laughs> and get more results for you. Awesome. Um, great. So we're going to hop back here and I think it is time for <gasps> who was the last comment. Oh, wow. Wait, was it Angie or was it Jillian? <laughs> Either way, I'm I'm super excited. I'm going to do another confetti. I'm going to do a confetti blow because I don't have any more poppers. I'm going to get some more tomorrow for day three. Oh, I think that's actually better. <laughs> Jillian, awesome. Jillian gets a birthday wisher. And Jillian, we can finally have our call. Awesome. Jillian and I have been in contact for so long now. That's so exciting. Congrats, Jillian. Um, okay, so let's just... Do a little recap. So tools you have seen today, genius birthday posts. Remember the Will Ferrell card? Um, and the, it sends the automated DMs, right? So auto post on the timeline to wish them a personalized happy birthday and also a DM, okay? And it sends out for you automatically, our favorite word, genius connector. Need I say more? It's seriously amazing. Genius Messenger CRM, the color-coded inbox. And I only showed you a few features of that tool. It's actually a really mind-blowing tool. I could do like a week-long workshop just on that tool. Uh, it's so incredible, the results that it gets. And then you saw Group Ripper, which scans the groups for top-performing content. You didn't see Genius Post, but you heard about Junior, Genius Post, okay? Um, so keep these tools in mind, and I want you to tell us below, if you haven't dropped us tools yet, drop us tools below if you're very interested in these tools and want to know more, okay? These are life-changing. I know that's such a word thrown around, but honestly, I can do so many more things in my life because I have these tools running for me, and I'm way less scared of getting blocked on Facebook. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So again, we're going to do a quick honesty check, guys, gals. What are you doing to nurture your leads? Is anything in place? Do you have a system in place? Are you taking your business seriously? Like I said yesterday, people are going to take our business as serious as we take our business. So how are you showing up? What kind of customer journey or sales system or nurturing system do you have in place? How about your content? 
Are you one of those who says, I posted twice about a free call with me and no one wanted it? Why? <laughs> That's not going to work. We have to be consistent. So check in with yourself. How is your content? Do you need support with that? Okay. Is there a problem that can be solved that you can get support with? Are you building relationships in the DMs? This is so important because as I've said over the last couple of days, it's getting harder and harder in other groups with content to find the right people, which is why Genius Connector with our keywords and negative keywords and the ability to go find ideal client groups is why this is such a massive tool right now because you can, you can hone in on the people that you want to talk with and you can get them in the DMs, okay? Are you building relationships in the DMs? I often find that no one is. And this is where all of the magic has happened for me is in the DMs, okay? And I want you to think about like, can you afford not to do these things for your business any longer? How much longer can you afford not to have content in place or not to be building relationships in the DMs? How much longer can you afford for this to be a problem, okay? I need you to check in with, uh, with yourself about that because we got a new year coming up and this could be your best year yet. January could literally be your best month yet. Isn't that crazy to think about? It is. All right, so let's take a little sneak peek at day three. So I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about selling like a pro without the spam, okay? We're gonna talk about conversions tomorrow. And I wanna dive deeper into the CRM to show you how we use those things, how we build out a sales system with that CRM, okay? <clears throat> so again, tomorrow, the tools we are going to um, talk about is the color-coded CRM. And then I'm gonna try to do another little sneak peek of uh, group ripper live. Okay. And show you what it looks like to scan the groups. So I want to talk about how we can support everyone who is here with us and everyone watching the replay. Okay. We have some options for you. We have six week group coaching program, and this is super powerful. I probably have some people who just went through or are still going through this with me right now. It has led to crazy results. Some of those results that I've read to you at the beginning of, of today and yesterday, it's just amazing what has happened. And I'm like, just so proud of the women who have been in here. Um, so you get the automation tools for free for the six week group coaching program. You get DM scripts, you get sales scripts, you get launch strategy, you get one-to-one -one boxer access, early bird special. You get to learn how to master automation from an automation coach for 2022 and beyond. You get leads every week. You have direction every day. Um, major bonus, you have more clients, but you also have more time, okay? And you have so much more structure, so much more structure, okay? So th this is just a very brief sneak peek at what it looks like, okay? Week by week, week one, setting up your back office. Oh my God, did you know that we can set up, you can have your back office set up for your online business and know what you're doing every day? Week two, we talk about getting leads in your sleep. Like I said, we sleep and run these tools and we wake up to leads. Week three, we, we dive into attraction and nurturing some of the things we talked about today, but on a way deeper level. Week four, content that converts on a way deeper level. Week five, selling without the spam part one. Week six, selling continued. We do, we do a lot of coaching on selling, okay? Because we can sell on the DMs, we can sell on the phone, we can sell in a workshop, et cetera. There's a lot to do there. Um, and then I help people figure out what's next in their business, okay? So it's very, very, very supportive. Um, so drop us a group below, group below, if that's what you're interested in. If that's what you feel like you need to rock your 2022, we got you. We got you. And if you feel like you got all that covered, all you want to do is save some time. All you're like, I, I know what to do. I got this. I I am I am smooth sailing. I'm rocking it. I just need some hours back. I need some more leads. We do have very affordable software plans. So if you are interested again in the group coaching, please drop group. And if you're interested in the software plans, please drop tools. Okay. So I'm so excited for day three because we get to talk about conversions. And I know a lot of people 
are scared about getting in the DMs and getting people on calls. And we're going to address that tomorrow. And I'm really excited to see everyone in there. So let's see. All right. I'm seeing some tools. I'm seeing some groups. Amazing. Good stuff. Good stuff. I am so happy to be reaching out to all of you. And I am so excited that we get to do this another day tomorrow. And again, if you have been here every day, and if you watch the live, if you really watch the replays, if you're watching the replay, um, let me know that you're watching the replay because I do have a little special, not a little, a big, big plan, a big a big surprise for those who show up with me here all three days with Misty and myself. Um, it means a lot to us. And yeah, I'm so excited. Have a great hump day. And I will be reaching out to everyone very soon. Okay, thanks so much.